Hello, this is Nagala Simon. In this video, I'm going to talk about disease prediction, which I solved using the gradient boosting. Now, the accurate disease prediction is crucial in healthcare domain, enabling early intervention and personalized treatment. So, in this task, which was given by Mentonis while I was doing my internship, it is the problem is predicting the disease, different disease which was given there, the target variables. Now, explore, when it comes to the data set that was given, we had two data sets, the training and the testing data set which was provided. It had two, three, five hundred samples and 25 features, while the test data had about four, four, seven samples. Now, when we look at these data set, the correlational matrix highlights all of the data set, how important they are, the importance of different features here and target variables that we could use here. We come to the preparing data, we had we used labeling coders, one hot encoding, which is used uh, for the categorical features and transforming them into numerical formats suitable for the gradient boosting algorithm. As I mentioned before, the um, gradient boosting algorithm is the algorithm that I used. I tried a random classifier, uh, logistic regressions, linear regressions, different other algorithms, but their performance was very low as compared to the gradient uh, boosting algorithm where I finally decided to use this algorithm in particular because it had much higher performance or the feature scaling standard scaling is used in standardized feature values ensuring they are on a common scale improving the model's performance now for the feature selection the feature importance course we use the correlation and matrix and sort of used also the chosen features we use different features as well relevance to disease the chosen features directly led to the physiological and biochemical factors which were given there in the in the data set. Now, when it comes to the algorithm, which is the gradient boosting algorithm, this algorithm is a powerful and simple learning algorithm that combines multiple weak learners to create a strong predictive model. This section provides an overview of the gradient boosting classifier and its key hyperparameters. Hyper we call the, uh, we know it's a simple learning technique where the learning rate controls the set side like each iteration, it's called the maximum depth of the distinct trees, determine the model's complexity and susceptibility to overfitting. The number of estimators is the number of decision trees and then sample influences and sort of other things as well. As you can see up at the top, we can see the train data had these and these. So this is the model training and tuning. We split them into two for the training and testing data set. So since the data has given us the training data set and testing data set, no need to use the training test split module. The hyperparameter tuning, we use the grid set CB. We used to explore the optimal combination of hyperparameters. It's just learning rates in marks and dips. Now for the model training, the gradient boosting class by string using the optimal hyperparameters identified during the tuning process. So this is what it looked like while we come to the model evaluation. After the evaluation, we get the accuracy to be 8.0. 087, which is 87 percent, position 19 percent, recall A2 percent, the F1 scores be 87 percent. So this is the best algorithm that I chose to work on this problem and had great high performance 8791, 87 for the accuracy, position recall, F1 score respectively. So I think it was a, a great, a great put there for for this problem. I had a really great expectations and encounters while I worked on this problem. So uh, when it comes to conclusion, uh, the GBC demonstrated its effectiveness in predicting DC stats with high accuracy, precision and call. Uh, so you can see my my Jupyter Nop code, which will simplify everything for you for the details of the event else that we looked at. So thank you for this chance. I really appreciate it. I'll see you again in my, in my future endeavors. Thank you.